Good morning, everyone. Good morning from Canada, and welcome to my channel. I'm here with my take on this week's challenge in Purple Poppy's Facebook group. So I, my first whim was that I wanted to do a concertina fold. So I took a piece of dictionary page, pretty brittle, and that's what I did. I folded it in a concertina style. I'll take everything out so that you can see the bare bones. <clears throat> so the concertina fold was like this, and then I folded the two of them back and closed it to form these pockets. <clears throat> so you have a pocket here, and you have a pocket here. I took a running sheet of paper that I technically didn't like, although I like it on here, and I just ripped on the angle to cover these spots and to give this brittle old paper more strength. <coughs> Excuse me. So I just kept the pattern running, but then that created a problem for me because when I got to in here, this makes no sense. It has no purpose. So the way I solved that was to keep the angles going by making the journaling spots angled as well. So that one goes there and I, I stamped a bird because a bird was part of the challenge. A ring, a bird, the color green, a paper clip, and a stamp. So I think there was some confusion as to whether it was like a rubber stamp with ink or a postage stamp. So I did both. <clears throat> so the, the parts I ripped off the top of these, it seemed wasteful to get rid of them. So they're in here too. As extra little journaling space it keeps the angles going and I tried to keep as much as I could to the green component this has a green tinge to it but when of course when you put it in here it looks more beige this is a sagey green just little ephemera to add some color um, the ephemera for the front really I didn't just didn't want to waste anything so these were the off cuts from the piece of paper I tore up to to do this so there's a pocket here and a pocket here and I chose some other green shaded ephemera to also go in those pockets and add some interest and then this little advertisement sign on some lace so there's more green here than I would normally do and then for the component of the stamp and the paper clip I used one of these that I normally would put in a journal it's like a hidden writing spot and usually I would clip them to the top of a page using a tiny clothespin like right there but we had to use a paper clip so this was my excuse to include a ring so here's my ring it's a jump ring <laughs> uh, that's that was the only thing I could think of on this whim so there's that holding down our little hidden journaling spot and then when you close it on the back there's more of that paper and then I just you know why would you have a jump ring unless you were trying to dangle something so there's a bulb pin and then this little puzzle piece that I just whitewashed with some acrylic paint and distressed it so there you have it guys this could this could be clipped into a journal with that pin or it could just be a card holder if you wanted to give someone a gift you could tuck gift cards into a couple of these pockets instead of this ephemera or hide it behind a piece of ephemera put a gift card in there instead of this and another card in here instead of this <clears throat> and write you know notes for them or you could fill it with gift cards, <clears throat> but that's my sharing. It was a good challenge. You know, some of it took me out of my comfort zone, like the color green and the ring, but that's good. That's why these challenges are good. So I hope you enjoyed that. And if you have any questions about how I did it or what I did, I could certainly post a process video. So let me know, guys. And in the meantime, take care and stay safe. Bye-bye.